place which is well known for its natural beauty. The place where one can see breathtaking modern urban architecture. The place which produces world-famous popular artistic programs. The place where millions of people live. This is India, a great country, exciting the interest of people all over the world. The relationship between India and Myanmar has stood the test of time. Myanmar-India friendship is natural, sharing as we do deep and abiding historical, cultural, religious and societal bonds. The Buddhist heritage that we share has brought us closer. Myanmar and India also have the shared experience of our respective independence movements where our leaders fought against British colonial rule. Our governments have both exercised non-aligned and independent foreign policies in the decades following our independence. As the Indian government is focusing on building up the nation's economy, education, healthcare, and relations with other countries, its international cooperation program is becoming a vital aspect of India's foreign policy and diplomacy. India's international cooperation is not only about building infrastructure or capacity building. It is essentially about helping to enhance human resource, potential, skill development and capacity building. At any given time, in fields as diverse as embryo transfer technology in goats, or solar electrification, or communication and information technology, or even restoration of rare archival material. Competent Indian professionals are engaged in various countries in development cooperation projects as required and desired by the host nation.
Myanmar is one of the participating countries in India's flagship scholarship program, namely the Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Program, ITEC. ITEC was launched by Government of India on 15th September 1964. I have been to India to attend the Cross-Cultural Business English course uh, under the INTEC program. It has a great potential to fight successfully the two universe and uh, to uh, accuse problems or an employment aid uh, to assist in maximizing use of local resources. And he is very approved of my database and the applying of goals to very improved and very useful of my department and our ministry. The Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation, in short called ITEC, by observing ITEC Day this year in the town of Mandalay. It is also a major participant in other scholarship programs, such as the Technical Cooperation Scheme, TCS, Mekong Ganga Cultural Scholarship Scheme, MGCSS, Business Advisor Training Course. I attend as the Entrepreneurship and Small Business Promotion Program. General Cultural Scholarship Scheme and others. Government of India has been providing more than 200 scholarships to Myanmar nationals every year under these schemes, covering over 200 courses. Uh, I want to share my experience um, because our I'm a lecturer at Technological University. Uh, so, uh, so I, uh, if I have a chance, uh, I tell uh, how to study about uh, for the renewable energy and energy efficiency. India has recently announced a further increase in the scholarships for Myanmar to over 250 under ITEC and TCS from 2012. This journey uh, was a, a great support for my project. I got a lot of wonderful experience from my training because my training is cluster development program. ITEC and TCS courses offered by Indian government are attuned to Myanmar's socio-economic lifestyle and are thus very effective. A nice chance. I went to attend the disease prevention in the workplace. My current project is the doing research concerning with a CNC machine. The experience and knowledge from this training uh, is a solution to technical via BLC technology. So if I have the, another chance to study in India, I would like to study English course because I'm very interesting. Also, I would like to study the entrepreneurship course. It would. It's really related with my MBA program. I am a computer designer, so I want to attend and computer technology, web design, and computer programmer, and graphic design. Actually, and, uh, uh, India is the leading uh, country in ID industry and ID technology fields. That's why uh, I really would like to attend any kind of uh, ID related free courses uh, which is uh, uh, sponsored by Indian government and especially I would like to attend the certificate course in mobile computing courses which is held in UTI Technology Bangalore. As a developing country, ITEC and TCS courses offered by India are undoubtedly beneficial for Myanmar. And as trainees from various sectors apply the technical expertise and skills gained from the training in their respective fields, they acquire new skills and the confidence to tackle problems. 
I enjoy my training goals very much because my training goals uh, was very informative and very enriching uh, and I came to know new things in optical networking courses and also we were trained uh, by uh, well qualified trainers with the support of uh, love facility, up to date love facilities, and also uh, tutorials, hand on practices, and also the industry practice through industry visit, uh, visiting industry. And also, uh, we, can, uh, we have uh, got lots of knowledge by uh, I have reached knowledge after we finished these training courses. That program and that training is very different from regular training. They train us within a very short period effectively because during that time so we have got the chance to learn even in literature not only in language literature they support us novel and then drama and then proverbs also and idiom usage so to be able to communicate and use and speak very effectively by using those uh, at those proverbs and idiom whenever necessary and even when our turn, they provide us a lot of tapes, CDs, and then materials. So when I arrive here in our ministry, uh, to the staff from uh, the whole country, the staff from Ministry of Labor, but from different parts of country, for them, advance and visit. So we chose the uh, participants, and after that, I have to transfer what I have studied in India. They will see the visible impact of the training they have received. These programs are typically short-term courses meant for in-service trainees. On the other hand, the ICCR scholarships are offered for full-fledged degree and doctoral programs and provide extensive knowledge in the chosen disciplines to the participants. Again, given the cultural affinity of India and Myanmar, those undergoing such programs find the courses and the lifestyle easy to adapt to. visited uh, many beautiful and interesting places in India so I got a lot of experience for example when I visited Taj Mahal we know about the king and the queen and when we visited Mumbai I never forget about it because I took a picture in front of the very famous actor Sheryl Khan house so as I said I have met a lot of friends from uh, ASEAN countries from Cambodia, Vietnam, and some Asian countries, Bangladesh, Nepal, and so on. So I would like to advise you for, if you want to join such kind of course, I, I, I mean, uh, spoken English course, you have to prepare four skills of English language before going to that kind of training. If I have a chance, uh, like a scholar student, I would like to attend Advanced Cluster Development Program in Amrabat in EDI. I get another chance. I want to go to India next time and I attend to Nelwat Advanced Course. I think uh, India uh, is um, very nice and um, more beautiful country and developed a new pharmaceutical technology. So I have chance, uh, I have chance the next time and um, I'm interested to study and go to the India and especially such as uh, which is related to my job. All these training programs offer a wide variety of courses with dedicated teachers and systematic methods. The trainees who attend the courses will make lifelong friends and keep alive the memories of good times they shared together. 
In fact, they are real ambassadors of our friendly relation and development partners for mutual growth. There must be equality for the world to be peaceful. In order to achieve such equality, all of us must share our experience and expertise to help others to develop further. Together, we can face an ever-changing world with confidence.